So our brains are all different, just like we are all different. But even though we may have some challenges, those challenges are not necessarily problems for us. They make us unique and can become the gifts for that benefit all of humanity. Here's an example of that. Some people with dyslexia, and there are many forms of dyslexia, some people with dyslexia have a unique eye where their visual field is different from the visual field of a typical eye. So I do not have dyslexia. If I look at this hand here, my brain gets most of the visual information from right in this small area right around the hand. I have a central bias. If I have a certain types of dys dyslexia, this unique dyslexic eye, if I look at this hand, my brain actually gets more information from this area around the hand than it does from the hand itself. It's like looking at these words. Imagine if you look at the word reads, but you get more information from everything around the word reads. How challenging that would be to read. But a potential gift of this special eye is that if I have that unique eye and I look at this star, I see the whole star field. I'm not limited to one spot. With a typical eye, I see one star, maybe a few around it. But with this unique eye, I can see patterns that may not be visible to other people, patterns that are beneficial in different ways. In fact, they found that many scientists, particularly astrophysicists, have dyslexia. And there's a group at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics that studies dyslexia for this very reason. These two scientists are examples of people who were able to overcome severe dyslexia in order to accomplish extraordinary things in science and medicine. Extraordinary things. And the reason they overcame, it seems, is because they were so interested in their subject matter. Not because reading was easy for them, it was very challenging, but they were so interested that they overcame the obstacles. This is why inspiration is so important in the Montessori classroom, in all classrooms. This is why following the child's interest is so important, particularly in the elementary years, to set that foundation for what their future studies will be to guide them to follow interest as a means of learning everything that they need to learn. It can help them overcome anything that's not quite connected in a typical fashion in their brain. And that atypical connectivity is not necessarily problematic. It may in fact be a tremendous gift. So there is some really great evidence that Montessori pedagogy can help people develop to their full potential, whatever that is. And you may be familiar with some of these people that the founders of Google actually attribute their success and their unique creativity to their early years in Montessori school. Gabriel Garcia Marquez was a Montessori student. Joshua Bell, the violinist. Julia Child, the wonderful chef. Um, was a Montessori student, Anne Frank, who at such a young age was able to record such important information in such a great perspective um, before her terrible early death. She was a Montessori student, George Clooney, the great actor. So you can see it's from all fields, all walks of life. People can find their strengths with a pedagogy that allows them to develop at their rate at their pace following their interest and with strong foundations that train the whole brain, not just the frontal cortex. Authentic Montessori is gaining data that shows that it has benefits when you look at a school. There's this great study by Angeline Lillard if you're interested in looking into it. And I just want to finish up by saying that I'm really grateful for um, the, my growing friendship and the mentoring from Sylvia Dubovoy, who is a professor at the um, Montessori Institute of San Diego and uh, affiliated with several universities and came to give a great um, guest um, lecture at our Mind, Brain, Health and Education course at Harvard University Extension School last year and she was fantastic and I'm grateful to her and to all of the students and mentors that I've had for this work. I hope you found this useful. May all beings benefit. Good night.